young man has ingrown toenails on one side of both his big toenails and they keep growing back so we've decided to get rid of that part of the nail permanently you can see it's a little bit red I cut it down a bit last week because he was in so much pain it was so inflamed and I wanted to calm it down before I did the procedure and I did his sister's ingrown toenails quite some time ago and they haven't grown back in and uh, I'm going to show you the procedure today and this young guy doesn't have to worry about this getting ingrown anymore and he can continue with his lawn mowing activities which he did this morning okay okay we'll start with the right one that'll make it right so I'm just going to use a number 61 to move the nail away from any attachment to the cuticle And then I'm going to cut along that border with an English anvil nipper. All the way down underneath the cuticle to the root or what we call the matrix. Then I'm going to take a hemostat and get that piece out. Now we're not going to see a big boy today because I cut half of it away last week so I'm sorry to disappoint but it won't be a majorly huge chunk There we go. So we can see that part was outside and this is the part of the root which is much thicker and whiter. So I'll leave that for my friend to see after. We'll just remove a little bit of this. Excess. And we can see it already looks better and there's very little space there and what I like to do is just smooth away some of the root that and we're going to use mini q-tips so that we get in there real nice first I like to twist 30 times and then the second go 20 times and the third go 10 times and I'm not going to bore you by showing you all the turns but this is the idea right at the root area which is deep we're going to put this chemical in and then after we're going to neutralize it. this is the second go of turning 20 times after the second time of twisting I like to put the rasp in again to the top and the bottom just to clear any debris and then we'll do the final round of putting the chemical in now we'll neutralize the chemical with some alcohol spray 
That way we don't get any burns because the chemical is now neutralized at the root and the surrounding skin. Okay. I like to do a small check to make sure that there's no cotton fragments left in there, which there isn't. Always remember the most important thing with this procedure is remove the tourniquet whatever way you whatever you use to place the tourniquet on make sure you remove it before that bandage goes on so the first thing we're gonna do very important is remove the tourniquet so this is just back to grass antibiotic towel to protect that area and some three by threes And we'll just wrap this with some co-band overnight. And then he'll be soaking in warm water and plain vinegar and putting polysporin on until I take a peek at it next week. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to have any pain with this.